50 billion rand industry which thrives on the prevalence of crime. Experts estimate South Africa's private security industry to be the fourth largest in the world and the December period seems to be an opportune time to see why. SABC News went along with an armed response company's ground team on its daily rounds in Johannesburg's northern suburbs. And within two hours, it received over 400 alarm activations. Uh, since the shift began today, we've done already three to four hundred responses. Uh, we not, by now, we've received uh, like just over six hundred activations. We have responded to about four hundred. Two hours, uh, plus minus two hundred were cancelled because of clients that were at home and they activated it falsely. Because of the festive season migration, the emptier than usual streets and the lack of traffic activity in many suburbs presents an ideal environment for criminals. We, we've got the, the normal break-ins, we call them code one, code two activations, where we find that clients are not at home, sometimes at home they do these break-ins, but to prevent, they, they mostly happen when clients are away for holidays. Um, they will then break in and come in and these guys they do it quickly and they go for things like uh, TVs, your, your laptops, they'll go for your saves and booze, funny enough, even meat in fridge, they will empty your fridges. He says armed robberies in the area have almost doubled compared to this time last year. Just last year, this time, we had about uh, eight armed robberies. This year we're already on 15 and starting from November. That tells you the guys are out there and they mean business. And I think the message is out there to our clients or to the community that when these guys approach you, you need to listen to the instructions. If you do not listen to the instructions, they will take your life for nothing. Criminals, often heavily armed, are brazen and armed response teams find themselves caught in a hail of bullets. Suddenly, the moment I approached there, then he suddenly one of the guys started screaming and they ran towards me, shooting towards me. Suddenly, I caught my backup as quick as I can and I still started shooting back. Then suddenly, three more guys come out from the premises from the house, they run into the corsa, they jump into the corsa back. I chased them uh, also with my backup vehicle that by that time right around. I chased them all the way down for a couple of uh, kilometers. Just suddenly, we managed to block the guys. And then they surrendered. We arrested part four of the guys. With fire, I'm also recovered. And also, uh, subs also were very quick also. According to the Institute for Security Studies, there were more than 400,000 private security guards, many more than police and the army combined. They pride themselves on a quick response time something that seems to be lacking where police are concerned. I wouldn't say the police are not effective. And also, I think security companies, of course, they are not like the government or like the police. We all know as South Africans that our police are under-resourced. And there are reasons, various, various reasons for that. But uh, with security companies as private companies, we, we're not under-resourced. We've got more resources than the government. If you look at our vehicles, I'm only talking about areas that we operate in. Let's talk about North Cliff only. I've got about 18 vehicles. Compared to the SAPS, of course they are under-resourced. You'll find out they've got one vehicle or two vehicles. But the Clifton Beach incident in Cape Town has thrust the debate of whether security companies overstep 